Hey, let's do another Grove telescopic boom problem. This time we will have an extra line deduction. I want to illustrate extra line deduction, that concept to you a bit in a bit more detail, or at least show you a problem where there actually is an extra line or excess line deduction. Uh, what is the problem looking for? Maximum net capacity. So let's go ahead and write in our formula for net capacity. Net capacity equals gross capacity minus deductions. Go ahead and create our diagram that will illustrate the configuration. We've got 60 foot of boom, 20 foot radius, auxiliary boom head, we also have a spreader bar which we'll we'll go ahead and put that down here because it'll go at the end of our rigging. We have a spreader bar that weighs 873 pounds we have a, a 32 to 56 foot adjustable jib that is erected and retracted let's go ahead and and put that on here it's erected and retracted. Thirty-two fifty-six jib retracted. Make ourselves a little note here, so because we go back to the table, we'll look up the amount of deduction for the jib configured in, in that way. Um, block. We got a 50 ton block with six parts line. Again, six parts line. Let's go ahead and write in our auxiliary head so we don't forget it. An auxiliary boom head is a deduction. Uh, we've got 600 pounds of rigging in addition to the spreader bar. Okay. I think we've got all of our deductions accounted for. We've got the auxiliary boom head, we've got the spreader bar, we've got the the adjustable jib, we've got the 50 ton block, and we've got the rigging. Now we need to go go to the load chart notes and find the weights for each of these deductions. First of all, 3256 jib erected and retracted. Okay. 3256 teleboom extension stowed, we don't want stowed, it's not stowed, it's erected and retracted. So the deduction there is 6,368 pounds. 6,368 for erected and retracted. Again, this is a, an area to be careful with. You've got three different options here. Make sure you read the question, the information correctly, and identify the correct deduction. Okay, we've got auxiliary boom head 143. We've got our 50 ton block, which is 1,285 pounds. And we've got our six parts line. But how much of that line do we need and how much is extra that we can deduct or that we have to deduct? Okay, to find out how much extra line we have, we first need our chart capacity. And our single line capacity is 12,920. Go ahead and write that down. But our chart capacity 
60 foot of boom, 20 foot radius, 360 degrees. Outriggers fully extended. Okay, we've got 60 and 20. 60 and 20, so it's 33,600. So how many parts line do we need? Divide 33,600 by 12,920. It comes out to 2.6. So that would be three parts line. We need three parts line. So we started with six. We need three, so we have three extra. So we're going to deduct three parts line. While I'm here, let's go ahead and calculate the uh, line capacity. which we always want to write that down for every problem, the line capacity and the chart capacity. 6 times 12,920. Seventy seven thousand five hundred and twenty is our line capacity. So we'll use the smallest of chart or line as our gross capacity. So our gross capacity is 33,600. Okay, now let's go back to this wire rope, extra or excess wire rope that we need to deduct. The low chart does not give you the boom tip elevation or the tip to ground distance. We have to use the range diagram. This is the range diagram. We have over here we have boom extension length, boom and extension length in feet. Along this axis we have the, ra the radius. Over here we have the height from ground in feet. We have the tip to ground distance or the tip to ground height. So how do we use this? Okay, we go to a 60 foot boom. That's what we've got, 60 foot boom. There it is. Whoops, see if I can highlight that for you somehow. 60 foot boom. Then we go to 20 foot radius. Now we, we follow the line for a 20 foot radius all the way up to where it intersects with the arc for the 60 foot boom. So the 60 foot boom, it arcs. The 20 foot radius is a straight line, so we have the arc right there. So, and that kind of falls between values, so when it falls between values, it's between 60 feet and 70 feet for tip to ground distance. You don't interpolate. You always go with the, with the longer distance. Go with 70 feet. 70 feet is what we will use as our tip to ground distance. 70 feet will be our tip to ground distance. Again, 60 foot of boom. Follow that arc around to the line for 20 foot radius. That is between 60 and 70. So we'll use the longer or the, the longer distance, 70 feet, as our tip to ground distance. Okay, so we got three parts, 70 feet long. In our data table, it tells us that three quarter inch wire rope weighs one pound per foot. So 3 times 70 times 1 is the weight of the wire rope we need to deduct. 3 times 70 times 1 equals 210 pounds. Total these up. 
you know, quite a few components here. So be, be careful when you're plugging information into your calculator. It's real easy to, to hit a 5 when you meant to hit a 6. So we got jib, 6,368, plus the auxiliary head, 143, plus the extra wire rope, 210, plus the 50 ton block, 1285 plus the rigging which is 600 plus the spreader which is 873 pounds gives us our total deductions of 9,479 bring it up here and plug it into the formula 9,479. Do the subtraction. Leaves us with a net capacity of 24,121 pounds.